good morning to all my name is anjal i am a student of bsc chemistry honors final year of pandit nikram sharma government college rohtak today i am going to discuss about metalloporphyrins and hemoglobin and myoglobin and its structure metalloporphyrins porphyrins constitutes an important class of bioinorganic compounds in which a metal ion is surrounded by four nitrogens of a porphyrin ring porphyrins are macrocyclic tetradentate ligand made up of four pyrrole rings linked together through methane bridges as shown in figure 5.1 this tetradentate ligand has a conjugated double bonded system with nitrogen donor sites two of the four nitrogen are tertiary nitrogen while the remaining two nitrogen are secondary nitrogen the tertiary nitrogen atoms form coordinate bonds by donating a pair of electron each to the metal ion by a coordinate bond as shown by the arrowhead the other two secondary nitrogen lose a proton each and a form a covalent bond with a metal ion as shown thus a porphyrin ring serve as a tetradentate di negative ligand as a result the di positive cations like fp2 positive na2 positive or mg2 positive will form a neutral complex and porphyrin which in the process loses two proton as shown in figure 5.1 when the four pyrrole rings of a porphyrin are substituted by organic groups other than hydrogen it is called a porphyrin thus porphyrins are macrocyclic tetra pyrrole system with conjugated double bond together with various groups other than hydrogen substituted at the periphery of the rings the substituent attached to the ring are usually organic groups with electron withdrawing or electron releasing characteristics the complexes formed by the porphyrins with the metal ions are called metalloporphyrins these are biologically important compound and play a very important role in the animal and plant kingdom porphyrin ring system is fairly rigid because of the delocalization of electrons in the molecule although the skeletal structure is fairly rigid significant variations have been observed among the metalloporphyrin in the interatomic distance between the pyrrole nitrogen and the metal ion at the center determining the size of the central hole from a knowledge of the covalent bond radii one can estimate that a bond between a nitrogen atom and an atom of the first transition series should be about 2.0 angstrom long in brief an ideal size of the atom to fit in the hole is 2.0 angstrom the size of the hole in the center of porphyrin ring is ideal for accommodating metal ions of first transition series of lighter alkaline earth metal a metal ion of appropriate size sitting at the center of the porphyrin ring will be surrounded by four nitrogens of the pyrroles and forming a sphere planar geometry it means that the metal ion and the four nitrogen lie in the same plane as shown in figure 5.1 however when the size of the metal ion is smaller ideal the ring will be reluctant to accommodate precisely the metal ion in this way the ring will either readjust or distort itself in order to accommodate the metal ion on the other hand if the size of the metal ion is larger than the ideal the transition metal ion can not fit in the hole and stays out of the plane of the four nitrogen atoms it means that the metal ion sits above the plane of four nitrogen atoms and acquires a square pyramidal geometry the nature of metallo porphyrins vary with the nature of the metal ion and the type of organic groups attached at the eight position of the four pyrrole rings around the periphery of porphyrin a group of related compound the pathocyanins shown in figure 5.2 are isoelectronic with the porphyrins these compounds are of interest because of their intensely colored metal complexes which are of at most commercially application in dyes and pigments the size of the hole in these 
pathelocyanins ring is about 0 to 1 angstrom smaller than in porphyrins as a result of nitrogen atom compared with carbon compare the covalent radii of carbon 0.77 angstrom and nitrogen 0.75 angstrom two of the most important metal complexes of porphyrins are chlorophyll and heme which are being discussed chlorophyll is a magnesium complex of porphyrins which play an important role in photosynthesis photosynthesis is a remarkable redox reaction in nature that convert water and carbon dioxide into sugar and oxygen in the presence of sunlight this process is the primary source of food that we eat and the molecular oxygen that we breathe the function of chlorophyll molecule is to observe photons in the red part of the visible spectrum 700 nanometer and pass this energy of excitation to other species in the reaction chain the ability to observe the light is due to the conjugated choline structure of the porphyrin ring the role of magnesium is to make the entire molecule rigid so that energy absorbed is not easily lost there are a number of similar but not identical chlorophyll molecules it is important to note that in chlorophyll a the basic porphyrin system has been modified in two ways in pyrrole ring four one of the double bonds has been transhydrogenated to form a magnesium dihydride porphyrin complex in addition a cyclopentanan ring has been fused to the side of the pyrrole ring three as shown in figure 5.3 in brief absorption of sunlight by a chlorophyll is the first step in the conversation conversion of light sunlight and into usable energy by plant it will not be out of place to say that chlorophylls are nature solar energy collectors hence is an iron to porphyrin which is present in hemoglobin and myoglobin which is being discussed hemoglobin and myoglobin molecular oxygen play an important in role in biological system because of its importance in respiration the formation of oxygen we have already learned in nature involve a number of reactions such as redox reaction electron transfer atom transfer and photochemical reaction a number of protein are known that bind and transfer oxygen to different extents such protein that bind oxygen are called oxygen carrier the most important and well documented protein that binds and transfer oxygen are hemoglobin and myoglobin hemoglobin and myoglobin are very closely related to each other hemoglobin is a large protein with a molecular mass of 64500 and consists of four sub units each subunit is made up of a heme group associated with a proton called the globin it is important to recall that each heme group is composed of an fe2 positive ion surrounded by four nitrogen of a porphyrin ligand hemoglobin is a large intracellular protein that is responsible for the red color of the blood cell on the other hand myoglobin is a relatively small protein with a molecular mass of nearly 17000 and consists of one heme group and a polypeptide chain it is important to recall that the peptide chain consists of 150 to 160 amino acids residue folded about he single heme group myoglobin is a small intracellular protein in vertebrate muscles myoglobin was the first protein whose x-ray structure was established in 1959 in 1962 the nobel prize in chemistry was awarded to kendrew and perutrij for their work on the structure of globular protein including myoglobins the basic function of hemoglobin and globin are the following hemoglobin picks up oxygen in the lungs and transport it to the rest of the body myoglobin accept oxygen from the hemoglobin in the muscles and stores it until needed for energetic processes deoxy 
ऑक्सीजनेटेड हीमोग्लोबिन यूजेस सम ऑफ इट्स एमिनो एसिड टू फिक्स अप सीओ टू एंड देन ट्रांसपोर्ट सीओ टू बैक टू द लंग्स ऑक्सीजन कैरियर परफॉर्म्स द फंक्शन ऑफ एक्वायरिंग ओ टू फ्रॉम द एटमोसफियर ट्रांसपोर्टिंग इट थ्रो द सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिजम एंड डिलीवरिंग इट टू द लोकेशन वेयर इट it is used they all bind o2 rapidly and reversibly according to the equation 5.1 protein plus o2 gives protein o2 the equilibrium must be largely to the right at the oxygen concentration available at the pickup location for example lung air interface muscle cell blood interface and mother fetus interface at the placenta it is important to note that the oxygen carriers interact strongly with oxygen to bind it however the carrier must not undergo irreversible oxidation in the process in brief hemoglobin pick up oxygen in the lungs and transport it to the site of use inside the muscle cells this oxygen is transferred to the myoglobin which stores it until required for metabolic action in which o2 is reduced to co2 deoxygenated hemoglobin then transports co2 back to the lung structure of hemoglobin and myoglobin we have already mentioned that the structure of hemoglobin and myoglobin are very closely related to each other hemoglobin is a larger protein and consists of four subunit each subunit contain one heme group associated with protein globin as shown in figure 5.4 the iron is held in position by coordination with the nitrogens of heme and an imidazole of globin complex this complex reversibly oxygen as shown in figure 5.4b thus hemoglobin is the oxygen carrier of blood and the red color of blood is due to the oxygenated hemoglobin it is important to note that the four site units are similar but not identical two subunits form alpha chain of 141 amino acid while the other two subunit form beta chain of 146 amino acids these chains are coiled together to give a three dimensional network a schematic structure of hemoglobin showing the relationship among the four subunit of the tetramer as shown is shown in figure 5.1 structure of hemoglobin myoglobin is a small protein compared to hemoglobin it consists of a single heme group embedded in a polypeptide chain called globin the peptide chain consists of 150 to 160 amino acids folded about the single heme group as shown in figure 5.6 the heterocyclic ring system of heme consists of a porphyrin containing pyrrole groups labeled as a b c d linked by methane bridges the iron at the oxidation state to iron to present at the center of the heme is bonded by four nitrogens of the porphyrin system together with one nitrogen atom of the imidazole side by chain, side chain of the histidine residue which is a part of system together with one nitrogen atom of the imidazole side chain of the histidine residue which is a part to, of the long chain protein of amino and residue it is is this polypeptide chain that play an important role in the biological fixation of molecular dioxygen a simple outline of the structure of myoglobin showing heme group embedded in the polypeptide chain is shown in figure 5.6 it is important to note that heme both hemoglobin and myoglobin have five coordinated iron atom the oxidation state of iron in hemoglobin and myoglobin is plus 2 iron atom is bonded to the four nitrogen atoms from pyrrole rings and the fifth nitrogen from the protein chain in both the compound the sixth position is occupied is weakly bonded to water hemoglobin and myoglobin in such molecule are named as deoxyhemoglobin and deoxymyoglobin respectively however when molecular oxygen occupy the sixth position which is trans to histidine chain figure 5.4 b then the molecule are named oxyhemoglobin and oxymyoglobin respectively 
ए माओग्लोबिन पोलीपेप्टाइड इज कंप्राइज ऑफ एट सेपरेट राइट हैंडेड अल्फा हेलिक्स डेजिग्नेटेड फ्रॉम ए टू एच डेट आर कनेक्टेड बाय द शोर्ट नॉन हेलिकल रीजन्स